However, Kenneth felt very strongly that some of the older toys are unique because we've never attempted to update them in pursuit of perceived trends. Uh, to guide this modernization, uh, we need to have uh, and initiate uh, fundamental functional area plans for modernization to link the past with the future. Fred, I haven't heard anything on the T3100 racer. Where are we in the development of that? I'll answer that. Well, we've been holding on that because apparently some of the advanced plans for the T3100 appear to be incorporated into Axel's new toy designs for their mini racer. This is an unfortunate setback. I'm sure those plans will leak to Axel. Leaked? Somebody said the plans were leaked. Oh, every so often, a degree of industrial espionage, uh, so to speak, does occur. Espionage. Owens, will you give me a moment of your time, please? Yes, sir. Carnival Joe. Oh, you had your own fingers and teeth. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I don't know. What? What new line? Sir, we're in the supply closet. Now, tell me about the espionage problem. Well, General, keep your voice down. Uh, uh, the stealing of toy designs is not unusual in this business. You see, we're not set up to protect ourselves. I know the perfect man to deal with this espionage trouble. Who? Patrick Zeebo, my son. Patrick, do you remember when you stayed here when you were a kid? I'll never forget. I told your mother never to leave you here. When was that? The time you called and had to join you in Vietnam. That's right. She never came back. I'm sorry. You loved her very much, didn't you? That's right. And I'm not ashamed to admit it, because Dad did everything he could to save her, didn't you? That's right, son. Dee Dee was a wonderful woman, but appendicitis is a respecter of no one. By the time, by the time we knew something was wrong, well, I, I never forgive myself, Patrick. Enjoying the wine, Jim? Oh, it's it's fine, it's fine. Mm. It's a good Bordeaux, isn't it? He's got a good nose. Yes, I can't get enough of it. Patrick, now that you've joined the ranks of Zebo Toys, what are your plans for the situation? Patrick's bringing in a special force to assist him. We'll begin with the interrogation of every man and woman at the company. After that, we'll set up a security system so no one could leave or enter without our knowledge. Can we get to wear badges? Photographic identification. I take a very nice picture. As for me, Les, I'll be meeting with our designers so we can begin production of our new line. A new line? I'm noodling with the idea of putting in some war toys. You've never made war toys at Sebo. That's most unusual. It's well, a natural idea for you to make war toys. Well, we never really did because Dad didn't like the idea of war toys. He thought that war was the domain of the small penis. <laughs> <laughs> what is that so, Leslie? Well, I'd be really most grateful, Leslie, if you would assist me in this area. Is that all right? Sure. Dad. To war toys. War toys. What do you think of my bringing Leslie into the new war toy department? Smart tactical move. I thought you'd say it that way. Like you always say, treat your friends like your enemies, and your enemies like your friends. What is happening here? I say she's upset. She's so fragile, I don't know what to do. I mean, I got him to stop making war toys, but he is up to something. I want to know what he's doing next. I think we're a little early for the parade. You have enough healing? Oh. I like that one, Bob. Here he comes. It's the incredible yuppie float. <clears throat> Why don't you ask him? What do you mean? Why don't you just go up to him and say, what are you doing? Get out of here. Just, just go up and ask the general directly what he's doing, cut through the fabric of our very society of obtuse and avoidance. I mean, <laughs> where do you get off? Oh, well, that is fair. I'm hungry at you. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I need a glass of champagne. Mm -hmm.
Maybe I do know one. <laughs> Pick a state. Yeah. Moon. Moon. Um, California. Really wrong. <laughs> right up to him and ask him what's going on. Mara. It's busy right now. Maybe I'll ask Secrets. I'm mm, very sorry. Yeah? For now, let's have a different kind of engagement. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Leland. What? Huh? You said Leland. I said Leland. I was mistaken. Oh, you called me Leland. an accident. Yeah, you were away and he was having these bouts of depression. Also because he gets a little depression. God almighty, Debbie. Oh, wait, his ticket is, he goes on and on about the fact that he was responsible for your mother's death. I know, I know. Appendicitis, appendicitis. Debbie, how could you? What do you mean appendicitis? My mother died from appendicitis, Debbie. Uh-uh. He sent her on a reconnaissance mission. Reconnaissance? Yeah. You know how Jane Fonda visited him, right? Well, he sent your mother in disguise as a Jane Fonda lookalike. I don't know, something happened. Security, call the general. Never liked him anyway. I knew he didn't like that boy. I knew it. I knew it. One word about his mother and he was sucked. Not just the game. Those lethal weapons he's creating will build a new crack where it's just phase one. Phase one? He wants to build a new technology for tomorrow's war. Coordination. Teach the child how to handle sophisticated equipment, simulated flight experiences, visual laser lock on screens. And the last step, the final frontier, is to fly a real combat mission with remote control weaponry. I mean, the kids, they don't know the difference. They still think it's a video game. They think they're racking up points and they're actually wiping out whole cities. But he's gonna be stopped, y'all. We have to call the police. No, the police. Why? Because this is family business. It's been done, it's got to be undone, right? We're gonna take care of it. But how can we do it? I put the entire security system in. With your help, I can take it out. Well, well, well. Look what we've got here. A mutant. First of all, we gotta be a unit. We can't talk this We gotta be one mind, one body, one soul, one soul. Stand up and join me. We have one thought alone. Big. But this place on the record, huh? They're as good as dead. That's your center. War has no relatives.
can almost hear the ticking of the second hand of destiny. A moment, one wonderful moment when fate takes your hand. And this is my moment. My once in a lifetime, when I can explore a new... Activate the holy-boily helicopters. 